yes good afternoon what's going on welcome um today i am working on my specialized stump jumper and so one thing i've done is uh i've noticed i've bottomed out a few times um coming off a couple jumps or um a couple drops is where i really am feeling the front end bottoming out um so the first thing i automatically did was increase the air pressure which is um it makes for a bad ride at slow speed um i have purchased i have purchased these which they are called volume spacers and uh they are meant to go inside here okay um what it's supposed to do is increase the um, increase the ramp um, of your compression pretty much so um, instead of it just going down real nice and soft all the way down to the bottom um, it'll go down per se 50 percent and then the compression will be much much greater I want to try this out and uh, I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I'm going to try it, and uh, I'm going to make a little video and bring you guys along. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take off this cap. Okay. Here we have the... Um, You can see that's where you put the air in at, okay? Schrader valve. We're gonna let all the air out. <clears throat> the size socket you will need probably is a 24 millimeter. Oh, lucky there. Can you see that? Focus. So it already has two volume reducers in it, which is pretty awesome. Huh. That's pretty cool. These are the same things. So what I'm doing is I just took off the red ones and put the gray ones on. They're the exact same. I'm going to tighten that. And then we're just going to stick this back in here. Okay. Just like so. And screw this back on. All right. I think that's a good stopping point. We are just below 100, around 90 PSI. Okay. So what I've done is it's dark out. So but I've gone outside and uh, just did some really big bunny hops. And um, after putting in those three um, volume spacers, now I'm running my suspension here. Uh, let's see if you can see. Let's turn you this way. Okay, so I'm running this compression or slash charger, as Pike calls it, um, at halfway. Okay. So, um, and you can see on the stanchion here, here is my O-ring, here's bottom out. Okay, so I don't want to bottom it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and do this test, and I'm going to remove one of the pucks and go back to the number twos. Okay, so I just went out with two tokens, two tokens in my front shocks and um, just did a couple bunny hops just like I did previously with the three um, tokens in there. And uh, let me show you the results. Let me grab my tape measure. I'll show you these results. Now, you can see the O-ring has moved up a little. So let's, let's measure this again. 
So that's at three quarter. Is it focused? There. Oh. Three quarters. So just by moving one token, it has, um, removing one token, it has allowed my suspension to drop a quarter inch more. And that's just from doing a simple bunny hop. Okay, so I think we're going to put that, we're going to go with three. Let me know what you do. What do you put in yours? Do you have do you have tokens? Do you use tokens in yours? All right. So there you have it. We have I have put on the new the, the I went back to the three um, three tokens, and uh, I just really feel that that is going to satisfy my writing ability. Um, Feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, let me know what you think or what you do. Do you mess with your suspension? Do you let a professional take care of it? Have you, do you use tokens? Um, have you used them in the past? Um, anyhow, leave a comment below letting me know. This is a 100 millimeter, uh, 140 mil fork. So uh, I've got three tokens in there and we are running just on a bunny hop. I have about one inch left of travel um, before I bottom out. So that's kind of what I wanted because when I do come off of a drop, um, I don't want to be bottoming out. Now I will take it out to my local trail and ride around um, and see how things go there. So anyhow, till next time, peace.